What's up guys, Dustin McDangles back here with another video and welcome back to the NHL preview series here as we continue on with the Central Division looking at teams for the upcoming season and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at the St. Louis Blues, how they finished last year, team stats, we'll take a look at players that have left, players they brought in as well as look forward to this upcoming season and see where we think they will finish up at. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead hop into this video and take a look at the St. Louis Blues. Taking a look now at the St. Louis Blues from last season. They had a very solid year, making it to the second round of the playoffs, losing to the eventual Stanley Cup champions. They finished the season off with 109 points with a record of 49, 22, and 11. Again, extremely solid year with some solid players with good stats overall, but for team stats total, they had a goals for a fourth in the league, goals against 11th, power play was 27%, with a penalty kill of 84.1%. And anytime you have team stats that are that good, you are going to to be making it to the playoffs. The Blues overall in the season only had one losing month in the year. They went 5-6-3 and three in March, but every other month last year, they had a winning record. A couple of big-time goal scorers, Tarasenko, 75 games played, had 82 total points. Robert Thomas had played 72 and had 77 points. Buznevich played 73 games and had 76 points. And then you had Jordan Cairo, 74 games with 75 points total. Overall, the team had, again, a very solid year losing to those eventual Stanley Cup champion Colorado Avalanche who we will take a look in there at them in future videos but let's go ahead and take a look at the players who have left the Blues and that they have brought in we'll take a look at the projected lines contracts and then we'll take a look at what we think they will end up doing at the end of this season so let's go ahead and hop into it right now taking a look now at the players that have left the squad there are a few players of note that have left the Blues this year that include David Perron and Vili Huso. they have gone to the Detroit Red Wings, Dakota Joshua and Charlie Lindgren have also left the squad and that's actually the, those are the only players that have left the Blues and the players that they've brought in, a solid list of players, Noel Achari, they've brought in as well as Josh Levo, Thomas Grease and Martin Fakir, they've brought in to the squad, which again, I'd say bolsters or sort of keeps their lineup where it was at last year as we now take a look at their projected lines. And again, they are very solid three lines deep which again leads me to believe that they will have another solid season this upcoming season. Buzhnevich, Thomas, and Tarasenko projected top line. Very solid right there. Second line, you've got Saad, O'Reilly, and Kairou. Again, you've got a little bit of youth mixed in there with some veteran presence with Saad and O'Reilly mixed in with Kairou. Third line, you've got Barbashev, Shen, and Brown. Again, very solid. And even that fourth line, Kostin, Achari, and Walker. I mean, they are, I would say, three and a half lines deep up front and that's usually a recipe for success when it comes to a long NHL season because there's going to be injuries there's going to be issues and they've got the players to fill those roles on the back end they've got Krug and Falk projected on the top pair you've got Scandella and Parenko on the top on the second pair of D and then you've got Letty and Bortuzzo again you can mix and match some players in their Scandella maybe for Letty or Falk with Scandella, or you can mix and match whoever you want on those lines. But again, three solid pairs deep when it comes to the back end. And in between the pipes, you've got Jordan Bennington, who question marks out there. He didn't play as much last year as you would think he would, as they had Huso in net, but who knows? He did win them a Stanley Cup, and I'm sure he could do so if he is the top guy with a backup of Thomas Grease, who, again, he's a competent backup. He's nothing too crazy, but he will get the job done when he is put in between the pipes. Taking a look now at their cap room. Uh, when it comes to contracts, who's going to be up? They've got pretty much zero cap space after everything. And overall, they've got a lot of contracts they need to get done. You've got Tarasenko and O'Reilly who are on unrestricted free agent deals. So this, if they aren't happy with the Blues this year, or they're not doing well, you could maybe see them moved at the deadline if they do not sign an extension between now and the start of the season. You've got a restricted year coming up here for Kairou, who, again, he's another one of those younger players, 24 years old he is a up and coming potential superstar in the nhl and they're going to need to get a deal done with him first i would think before anybody else you've got barbashev and achari as well as on unrestricted deals and then a little bit lower in the lineup you've got logan brown uh, levo L levo for instance when it comes to deals coming up so they've got a lot of moves that they need to make moving forward. And then on the back end, nothing too crazy. And then Greece has unrestricted year coming up. But the two, three, I would say, big ones of note, O'Reilly, Tarasenko, and Kairou. We know 
the whole saga of Tarasenko before last season and wanting to leave the squad but ended up staying when it traded and it was it was a little ugly but he was able to put up some nice points for the Blues last year leading them in points with 82 total but for this upcoming season I totally expect the Blues to pick up where they left off from last season continuing on their winning ways and find a way to get the puck in the back of the net and again they've got a lot of players and a lot of depth to be able to spread that around and have I'd say at least a quarter of their team above 45 points or more when it comes to the amount of players I'd say the top two lines at least on the front end and then maybe the top two defensemen on the back end to be above 45 to 50 points what i think their biggest question mark is may maybe the fourth line forwards and really their biggest question mark moving into this year is their goaltending will bennington and greece be enough to keep them where they want to be with a lot of contracts expiring next season i expect tarasenko Buz buznevich thomas kairu o'reilly sod krug Falk. I, I expect all of those guys to have big years as long as they can stay healthy we can expect them in the hunt for the division i know they're gonna have to battle the likes of minnesota and the colorado avalanche but you can at least expect them in there for a wild card i'd say as long as they stay healthy so we'll have to wait and see if they can get back to where they were i expect them to have similar win mark 48 to 52 games one around that 105 to 110 112 point range we'll see them in the playoffs next year and i'm sure that first round matchup within the division will be super exciting whether that's against the wild avalanche or somebody else but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments who's going to be the biggest performer this year who's going to be the biggest disappointment i want to hear from the st louis blues fans out there drop comments down below and we will chit chat and continue on as we get closer to the nhl season if you guys have made it this far in the video be sure to hit that subscribe button you guys have been awesome as of late supporting the channel supporting the videos and i really do appreciate it but that's going to be it for today's episode i hope you guys have a good one and as always stay dusty